back with a very talkative and amusing chef, Severe <laughs> Saran, and his book, Masala Farm, uh, which uh, is all about your beautiful place in Hebron or s near Salem, New York. Yeah. And that's on the Vermont border. It's on the Vermont it's border. It's extremely beautiful up there. It's and, idyllic. And I did have that 400 acre farm up there a long time ago. And people miss you. Uh, well, it's. <laughs> I hear from people all the time. And it, it was a beautiful place. It was They're not happy place. that we are there, they're happier that you once <laughs> lived there. Well, the next recipe is typical of the uh, changes that you've made to your own cooking, I understand, uh, since you moved to the country. It's become simpler. It's become more about cooking with what's available and making compromises in your head about keeping things simple. Chefs like to elaborate and keep mo altering things. Then they become very removed from where they began. Mm -hmm. And my cooking's become Spartan. Okay, well that sounds that sounds good and simple. Simple. And Less you're growing a lot of what you you cook. We grow some of what we uh, use, and our friends, the neighbors, grow a lot. Uh -huh. And we in the summer, from around, I would say May until October, we use nothing from the grocery store. It's all from the land. Isn't that isn't that it's wonderful? wonderful? Yeah, it's a great way to live. So um, this is a vegetable ragu that you're going to it's make. It's a ragu you think you're eating meat with, but you really aren't. And it okay. begins with mushrooms, celery, carrots, and onions. Okay. And we need and we use a food processor to grind everything. Good. It saves you effort, and the texture that it gives is very similar to what a uh, ground beef would be like. Uh -huh. And that's what you're going after. Okay, so, so everything's been chopped in the food yes. processor. And the cremini mushrooms chopped nicely. But you could use uh, white mushrooms if you don't have cremini. You can use whatever mushrooms you okay. have. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Do they look good? Yeah. yeah. Here. And we begin again with herbs that we fry like an Indian would. And mm. in this case, there are cloves, there's some oregano, rosemary, we have cinnamon. For the sweetness that beef would have had, and we had thyme and some basil. So not very much, like a quarter of a teaspoon. So, so uh, a night is, oh, is this okay? Please, please, yeah. And the mushrooms go in. So this is basically the meat, right? You know, yes. This and is the chopped meat, the we mushrooms. We can begin with mushrooms, or you can add them at the end of cooking, oh, okay. where you can cook all the other vegetables first. Uh-oh, did I but make a mistake? No, we didn't make a mistake. There's no mistake in the kitchen. That's the first step people must remember. You know how you're doing the 20 things people must yes. know? I think one of the most important things to know is there are no mistakes in the kitchen. Life happens and you have to celebrate it every time. I'm adding onions, I'm adding the celery, the carrots. I'll grind up the, the last bit. See, so good. You have to oil. be thrifty in the kitchen. Well, we don't want to. What, what would happen to those few mushrooms, I wonder? In my uh, kitchen, they'll go to the chickens. We'll be so grateful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now they'll remember Martha steals from us. Uh. And salt goes in. So you know what I do here? <laughs> I take all the vegetable scraps home. And send them yes. to the chickens every day. They're happy chickens. Oh, they are. But they also give happy eggs as a result. Do they? Oh, yes. I love our chicken eggs. And I'm oh. adding a little more oil because we've added the onions with the vegetables. Okay. And we'll just cook them down and yeah. let life happen. And you gossip about neighbors and their lack of uh, good smiles. And then you move on and let this cook for... 20, 25 minutes, okay. 12 minutes for the vegetables, when you add the mushrooms, another few minutes. So it's 12 to 20 minutes of cooking them till they're nicely brown. So look, but look what happens, it really does. It gets reduced yes. to this beefy, meaty texture, mm, yum. which looks like little, uh, almost like chitlings. You know, the, uh, no, cracklings. What cracklings, are they called? Cracklings yeah. that you fried in oil. Mm. I'm still learning the American lingo, my apologies. And where are you from originally? From New Delhi, India. You are. Where we had no cracklings in our kitchen. No. Where, <laughs> I'm adding a little red wine to deglaze. Mm. So and you want to be careful not to stain yourself. Right. Some tomatoes. Okay, so quite a few tomatoes. Yes, and we've used okay. these organic tomatoes from Lucini. Okay. From Beautiful. Italy. Is, are they packed in a can or in glass? In glass, but with yes. no other chemicals added, right. just pure. And again, we let these cook for around four minutes till the uh, liquid is released, the oil starts flavoring the mm. tomatoes. And at that point, what and we have... And do you add water to it or not? You can, depending on how watery your tomatoes are, we'll add a little. So we okay. can cook this for anywhere from 40 minutes to two hours. Okay. And you keep coming back and adding more liquid if it okay. seems dry. And that's what it looks like. Look, that's it looks exactly it looks like. like a beef ragu. Does it? Yes, look at this. If you are telling me that, I'll believe you. That looks like a bolognese. Well, that was the idea. It is. So I'm it's glad very, you noticed that. It's a very that. good idea. And, and we have we... pasta cooking. Okay. And you know, Martha, one of the things I learned from Scott Conant, 
who has some beautiful Italian restaurants around the country, uh, Scott said that, you know, what a lot of chefs never tell you is that they add butter at the end at of the cooking. End. And it makes your sauce very silky smooth. I just saw Scott. Isn't he amazing? He was in Florida at, at the, the Food and Wine yes, Show. Yes, he was. Yes. And oh, he was making delicious food. Oh, his pasta, his food is incredible. So this is, uh, I learned a trick from Scott about, oh, these are getting loose. We've cooked them okay. a little longer. Oops. Don't we have a spider? We should have a spider, spider. but if not, I don't ooh. see a spider here. Let's mm -hmm. use two spoons. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you and I can't make this happen, shame on us. Can we have a spider, please? Thank you. Here. Yeah, this is plenty, Mark. Oh, well, we need one for you. I'll, I'll taste, for, if you're happy to double dip. No, there's another. <laughs> My cooties are clean. I, you, know, you know I didn't say that. My cooties are clean, so Thank I'm you. not worried about sharing with you. And I'm adding a little sauce for you over oh, here. them. Here, the other two. Yes, fantastic. Mm. And I'm adding a little more, some grated parmigiano. Oh, nice. Now, when you start making this on your farm, I will be very happy. Uh, I'll be a billionaire by then. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to taste this. This looks amazing. So, do you have um, anything else that you should tell our audience, or other things everyone should know? I think, you know, keep the pastas. With pastas, you have good oil and good pasta. If you have those two ingredients, it's magical. I'm using Del Verde uh, Tagliatelle. Mm. We're using Lucchini extra virgin olive oil. And if we don't have cheddar cheese or Parmigiano at the farm, we often use aged cheddar from Vermont. And the Vermont Country Store uh, give, has amazing cheeses in their pantry. Thank you. Isn't that a great store? It is. It is so nice. This tastes so good. Is it okay for being meatless? It is more than okay. <laughs> It is fantastic. And so um, everyone in the audience is, you're so lucky today. You're getting the book, and now you're getting olive oil, pasta, jam, and crackers. So this is fantastic. And um, the crackers from the Vermont Country Store, the oil, um, the finest olive oil, and the Del Verde pasta. Oh, and they're giving uh, the tagliatelle. That's so nice. Thank you very much. Thank you for having and us. And this is fantastic.